Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, I'm actually going to cancel out of this because I forgot I've still got to uh, deposit my uh, whoever I'm going to be replacing in the party for the Slugma Egg you all decided that I really should go for. Uh, so, let's make that decision. Uh, boy, this is not an easy call, is it? Um... Well, let's see. Uh, Desire is my last psychic type. Hmm. Who am I not going to need coming up? I mean, it's... it's. I've got some... Poorly balanced party... A poorly balanced party as it is. Um... It's got to be one of these two. But which one? They're both vulnerable to the next gym. But Desire's a little bit sturdier. So I guess we'll put Saw away for now. Alright. Now, back to the main focus of the thrust at the beginning of this episode. I gotta get me an egg. So I looked up uh, the information in my... Uh, uh, based on my trainer ID, what I have to tell this guy to get the Slugma egg. And it is, uh, let's see, let's go to ABC mode, shall we? Uh, P, it is points, and W, walk, for the first one. Yep, that's how I feel about you, Primo. And how do I like how you're exciting and fun? Well, that's simple. Okay, ABC mode, uh, design, and K, keen eye. That's how I feel about it. You're no ordinary fan knowing such a thing. You're a trainer, right? I'll pull some strings for you. Think I can swing a deal and give you this egg. You take good care of it. So, we got the Slugma egg. Yay! And also following your advice, I've got, the reason I'm recording this "Quote unquote at night in game is because uh, you guys told me that I should evolve my EV into Umbreon, and so uh, I have equipped my EV with the Soothe Bell, and I'm about to go to Goldenrod and uh, give him the uh, a massage, and uh, I'm going to continue running around grabbing Apricorns. I'm going to keep him at the front of the party with the Soothe Bell." And then when the Slugma Egg hatches, I'll put the Slugma in the front of the party, do some swap training, grind him up, 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 and then hopefully before too long, my Eevee will be happy enough to evolve, and I'll get an Umbreon, and uh, then I've got to grind both of them up to the same levels as everybody else, and that's going to take a little while. So I'm going to go back to the game again. Uh, and just sort of let it keep going. I'm going to have to grind for a long time to get them up to the right levels. The reason, of course, I don't want to evolve my Eevee, or the reason I don't want to train my Eevee until he's an Umbreon is so that he can get the proper stat bumps, get the right moves, make him a dark type instead of a normal type that eventually evolves into a dark type, if you know what I'm saying. And, of course, training the Slugma is going to be a pain because he's slow, but also because when he hatches, he'll be level 1. So, uh, when he does hatch, I'll turn on the recording again, or, well, I'll unpause it, you know. I've always got the recording open, and I'll show you guys what I'm going to name him, or her, I suppose. Uh, also, I'll try to catch Umbreon's evolution, and then, uh, there'll be another long break, and then uh, I'll get back into the game, progressing the storyline again, once I've got them up to the same level as everybody else. So, without further ado, I'm going to pause the recording, and I'll be back with Whatever happens first. Cheers, y'all. Well, hey, it's that time. We got a hatching egg. Let me unpause here. Here we go. We got a slugma. Very cool. Let us name this slugma. We have a male slugma. Let's find out exactly what his name is. Your name is Kilometer. Nice. That is a good name for a slugma. Kilometer. Here we go. All right. 
let's check him out. And as I thought, he'd be level one. Oh, uh, he's hasty nature. Great. Plus speed. Minus defense. Well, the good news is he doesn't have much of a need for uh, either of those things. So, yeah, actually, that's not true. He needs defense. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how it goes. His individual values may be good enough to keep him going. I have no idea of knowing that yet. But we'll put him at the front of the party and get to the grinding. And I'll be back. I think the next thing you'll see is the Umbreon Evolution. Cheers for now, folks. I'll be back in a minute. And here we go. The happy evolution of Committee into exactly one evolution. Let it begin. Now. Sorry, Espeon fans. I like Espeon too. Right now, I am badly in need of an Umbreon. I'm super thrilled to have Committee. Um, and uh, now that uh, he's evolved, um, well, I still have a little bit more grinding to do. Uh, he's only level 13. Uh, and uh, the Slugma is proving to be incredibly difficult to grind because his defenses are super low. And honestly, I expect him to die in the first fight I put him in because his defenses are that low. Uh, there's been a lot of running back and forth between places to do the to do healing and the grinding, and it's gonna take even longer to get him up to like level 21 where I feel where I will feel slightly comfortable with him. But don't get your hopes up, guys, because his defenses are just garbage, and I expect him to die very early. I hope he doesn't. I really hope he doesn't. But I expect him to. Anyway, back to the grind. Be back in a little bit. You know, I thought about it and I wanted to go ahead and show off just how bad his defenses are. As you can see, he's level 17. He's got 43 hit points. 43 hit points at level 17. His defense is 17. His special defense is 20. His speed is 17. The, he is gonna die unless I want to drag him kicking and screaming to bank mortar. I honestly don't think he's gonna make it that long. I hope he does. It would be nice if I could keep this dude alive till he's level 38, but I basically can't use him. He'll die. I mean, unless he's against like a grass type. I mean, if I don't, if I use him against anything that he doesn't have a total and complete advantage against, he's dead. That's just that's just the end of it. He'll, he'll be dead. On the plus side, I'll get to use my ghost again, which is honestly seeming more appealing because he's so bad. And I, I don't want to feel bad about him dying because he's going to die. I, I, I don't want to disappoint anybody, but I don't think he's going to survive the episode. That's just the truth of the matter. Anyway, I guess I'll go back to grinding him. We'll see how long this lasts. You know, I realized something. After one more trip to the Pokemon Center... I'm actually under no obligation to train him all the way. Uh, so, um, at this point, sending him out to get trained over and 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 over again is practically cruelty to Pokemon. So, honestly, I don't need a fire type so badly that it's worth continuing to raise him. He's got a bad nature. He's got bad IVs. He's got, <laughs> there's just so much wrong with him. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull Saw back out, because at least he can fight back against these assholes in this gym. I've had enough. He can, he, he can rejoin the team. Although, I am tempted to take out Weasel for this gym, um, depending on whether or not Radicate can learn Shadow Claw, which is a TM I just found. Uh, I already know my Nidorina can learn Shadow Claw, which is real tempting. Uh, but let me see what I can do here. Hang on just a moment. Well, sadly, he cannot. So I think I'll probably just wind up teaching that to my neat arena, which is, in fact, what I'm going to do right now. Do, 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 do. Let's get... Oop, that's the wrong button. Get in the bag. Shadow Claw. Use. And... We'll give that to Nidorina. And I didn't actually pull Saw out of there. Yes, we are going to replace Poison Sting. Yes. It just doesn't do enough damage. 
Shadow Claw. That'll show those ghosts who's boss. Uh, I also nabbed the Strength HM. Not giving it to anybody yet. Um, now let's go ahead and pull Saw out. I'm going to have to train him until he learns a damaging ghost move. He still doesn't have one. Uh, I'm going to have to train him at least that much before I actually try to use him in the gym. Uh, but that brings us to a another point here. Uh, it saves us a little bit of time because I'm not going to train that Slugma anymore. Except in the event of an a tragedy of epic proportions. So we're going to focus our time instead on training a much more worthy party member. Uh, Committee the Umbreon. Look at those defensive stats. That's what I'm talking about. He is going to be an absolute boss during that fight against Morty because he's just got crazy good defense. Particularly that special defense is crazy good. Uh, Pyramid's going to be a good backup there. Lots of good special defense there. Obviously, the uh, wall known as Fedora will be used quite well. Uh, with that synthesis, it'll be pretty handy. Razorleaf isn't particularly effective, but I can just put him in there to stall if I and heal, and if I really need to heal one of my other guys. Uh, Saw, if I use him, it's going to be basically to kill them before they can kill him. Because his high, his speed increasing nature will do wonders for him in that fight as long as he doesn't get hit because it lowers his special defense. So we'll have to see there. But I'm going to go back to grinding this Umbreon. And uh, after that, we will finally, finally be ready to progress the story. So let's get to it. What do you think about that, committee? Your Pokemon stretch out its body and is relaxing. Okay, well, we get a better, we can get something better for God's side. Now, what do you think about that committee? <laughs> it's wandering around. Doesn't seem all that fired up for this grind. Oh well, let's get started on it. I'll be back when it's done, and we'll finally, finally progress the story. See y'all in a bit. Well, uh, thanks to uh, some extenuating circumstances, I'm not going to be able to record any more today. Uh, so just rest assured, though. I uh, got a little bit more grinding done, just a little bit. Um, my questions for you this time, and I apologize for the short video. My questions for you guys this time, first of all, what level should I evolve Puppy, my Scyther? And that's the first question. And the second question is, would it be a wise idea to buy Solar Beam for my Executor since he's such a master at stalling anyway? I look forward to your answers. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.